Little Luigi here, Dingamrampa 2, episode 10. Uh, we're exploring this thing. I have to refresh myself. Last time we went through a bunch of evidence, and I went over who I thought was the killer. I don't actually remember. Did I, did I say Mah Mahiru? Um, I think I accused Chiaki, right? I don't remember. But I think uh, it could be Chiaki if, U if Usami isn't, isn't like, reliable. Because... They're, they had two people out there to have like an alibi, right? But is Usami a reliable person? Am I going to... Oh yeah, I'm going to Byakia's thing. And let's see. Do you guys know which one it is? Uh, oh gosh, maybe I should remember these, you know? Never know. Gosh dang it. Why don't you just tell me? You probably will if I talk to you, but that's too much. It's too much uh, work. There you are. Your icon doesn't look that great, actually. Clatter, clatter. Huh? It's locked. Hey. I guess we need to ask him for help. Still got it. And so, Na and so Nagito took hey. a de deep breath. Hey, Monokuma! Did you call me? Oh, shoot. <laughs> did you call me? Oh, yeah. Uh, Nagito? When did you train Monokuma? Hey. hey, Monokuma. I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. The f <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. Oh my gosh, it's this game. Though I thought it'd be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Biaki's cottage well... already. Thanks for saying it. This is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Mm -hmm. For the class trial? This is hmm, troubling. if it's for the class trial, then there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. I'll leave the rest to you! See, I've unlocked the, I've unlocked the doors. Now you, <laughs> now you can investigate to your heart's content. <laughs> ah, same. Why does it open with a magic Jeez. spell? Yeah, but... No, it's probably powered by electricity at any rate. That performance was a waste of time. That's uh, exactly what I was thinking. I guess we should go inside right. then. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Wow, this room sucks. My god. Um, What the frick am I doing here? Biakia Biak will never return to this room again. Thanks for saying nothing. Window. It seems like there's absolutely nothing here. Looks like this room's interior design isn't that different from mine. You said it. There's not much to worry about here. Then why can I click it? So is there anything important here? Oh, envelope, envelope. Oh, uh, is there also uh, hidden Monokumas that I should be looking for? I feel like there should be one in the uh, the, the party. <laughs> There's an envelope on the table. To Byakuya to go. Uh oh, that doesn't. That's not good, right? That's Who would have sent a letter to? There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. Maybe it's planted. Hajime, you should check what's inside. By you! You planted it, right, Nagito? Yeah, you're right. Let's see- open it! Like, you don't have to have this crazy long dialogue about it. Be careful, this first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely- Someone will definitely kill someone. Oh, so that's why he was really, really cautious. I thought he was just normal like that. Huh? Be careful, the first kill- maybe he thought it was from, uh, I don't know. Monokuma, or maybe it actually was. This is? This is? Is this a crime warning? No, it says be careful. It's probably a threatening letter. Re regardless, who would send something like this, Matakuma? Maybe. Hey. This is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party. Yes, that is exactly why. The first kill will happen tonight because I wouldn't be this. I think we understand this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, he. That's the, that's why he made. It was so cautious. Um, nobody else to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? What a freaking idiot, Biaki. He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Hey. Remember what Biaki kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone be the victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise. Maybe he sacrificed himself. <laughs> then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told nope. us? He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. I don't know. I mean, it could be just Monokuma being like, don't say it. What do you mean? Maybe he's like a traitor or something. If everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other, and at that point, there'd be no turning back. Like with um, 
to Sakura. Is that, was that the traitor? And then they, of course, they didn't want anyone to die. So I thought maybe it's kind of like that. So Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling yep. anyone. What a freaking nerd, idiot, dumb, uh, <clears throat> his strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. <laughs> anyway, sorry, it's flexing. Whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. <laughs> this could be a prank. <laughs> This is, this is going on the Little Luigi Pranks channel. And it might have done nothing to do with Byaki's death at all. Hmm? What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. He knows. He knows. He knows. No, he definitely knows. That's not it. It's not he knows. We've come all this way and he's the only thing I can think of the person who wrote this letter. Murdered Byakia. Oh my gosh, it was Marakuma. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakia would react to once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakia and killed him right before our own eyes in that old building. Dang it, who the- Truth bullet obtained. Hey. Hajime, there's probably not much left time until you have to end this, uh, recording. Probably. <laughs> Which reminds me, you asked Mahiro for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted to find out where everyone was standing just before the blackout. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? What? Did we do that? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I'd like to- I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. Okay, murderer. You have to plant some evidence? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, hey. mm -hmm. Also, if you're going back to the old building, don't. I mean, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. No! No, I'm never talking to her again. I think that the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. I'll see you later. Yeah, I bet it's like for- <laughs> It's just, uh, gibberish. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's the murderer. But now, uh, now's not the time for me to worry about now. You I think it is actually. There isn't much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. Shoot, I have no idea. Wait, there's gotta be. Come on, I know you're hiding in here. There was only one thing to check. I don't know where. It I knew it. Yeah, let's go. I'm a genius. Aww. So I just need another one. Oh, I need two more. Dang it. I told you guys, I'm a genius. Okay. So that means the other two, this, because after the class trial, I think it would reset, right? <gasps> what the? Oh, I thought that was the Monokuma. Uh, I guess we're going back in here anyway. So who would have done it? I don't know. I mean, my theory about, you know, Byaki was a traitor. I don't know, they told him there would be a murder tonight. It doesn't really make sense, though. This is Nekomaru. Gah! What the? What the heck was that loud voice just now? Uh, it was Nekumaru, didn't you hear? Oh god. I feel so lighthearted right now. I, Nekumaru Nidai, have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? I won't lose to anyone, not even to my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? God freaking me. I quit this game. This stupid game. I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a... out of me. Someone, some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Oh, now that you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. Yeah, we don't need to listen to that. How, how, however, if you think I'd be angered by something like that, you will all un underestimate my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That's the goal of a true leader. Someone was in the bathroom then? Maybe messing with something, I don't know. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. <laughs> He's mumbling to himself, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by the whole ordeal. Oh well, best not go into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout? So what I mean is... And the bathroom was finally unoccupied after Byakuya's body was found. Probably has nothing to do with the murder. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, and it was. Obtain truth bullet. All right, that's a lot of accounts we got now. So can we check the toilet? Hmm, the bathroom seems to be open. Oh, you freaking dumb boy. Okay, where's the Monokuma? Uh, let's see. He's got me in here. Do you guys see them? Where is it? Where is Monokuma? I guess I'm supposed to talk to Mikan. I don't see them though. We gotta find it. Oh, I guess I should cut because it's gonna be annoying just me walking around. Where? Is it? Gosh dang it, it's not here, is it? I thought it would be such a big brain thing. Alright. Oh, great. Um, um, if you'd like, I can tell you a bit of what I wanted to say. D did you find anything out? 
Um, my chart within reason to perform an autopsy on Bianca's body. Well. And I discovered he's fat. I mean, <clears throat> that would, there were several puncture wounds around Bianca's chest and ab abdominal region like we already knew. Deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. Jesus. <laughs> Sob. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around five millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over again. Oh my gosh. I'm out of breath. Where? Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry. Talking about it makes me sad. Made me sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. Ugh, ugh, I'm sorry. Still, around five millimeters in diameter. I didn't catch any of that because I was too fixated on how stupid they were. I mean, isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick or an. Uh, sorry, I. I I'm in a, I'm in America, so he's the imperial uh, system. Uh, uh, because of top zero, truth, truth will obtain. Okay, can we go over that? Because I totally missed everything. Bianca sustained several so puncture wounds to chest. Thought we we knew that the wounds were inflicted by a thin, sharp weapon around five millimeters in, in diameter. What about the part where they went like through him? Interesting. So can could it? What does that mean? It could be that my how long is five millimeters? Oh no. Uh, okay, is that all? Where's the Monokuma? Guys, please help me, uh, give me some type of hints with the Monokuma dolls. Please. I'm begging you. Oh, wait, so now what am I doing? Do I have an objective? No, nope, not that. Maybe it wants me to investigate the crime scene to see if the knife is... 5 millimeters or something. 5 millimeters could be... Could be tiny. Like, really tiny. Or it could be, you know, pretty big. Well, not pretty big, but you know, you know, yeah. Nope, didn't activate anything. Hey, you're here. Why the heck did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering. I was investigating as much as I could. I see. Well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So did you find anything? Hmm. Yeah, sort of. You don't sound too sure. Hey. Well, just take a look at this. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to talk to you to get a map. Oh, gosh. This is everyone's standing position. Okay, I thought we already heard this in the blackout. Alright, so... Byakuya is very far from the table. What does that mean? He w purposely went over there? He looks like he was trying to put something up, though. Is this like a red herring? I noticed Nagito right next to it. Dude, if it's Nagito, oh my gosh. All windows are covered. There's a camera. Wait, let's just check the camera. Daryl in the case. That's not related to the murder. Hyoko, I'm next to it. Interesting. AC. The storage room is what was... This actually helps me see... Uh, the map really helps me see where, what's going on here. So, the killer has to use the, fan, the irons to turn it off, right? And someone was in the bathroom as well. Was maybe <laughs> Fuhiko in there? I'd imagine that. They want to be a part of the party so much. Is the... There's no, like, vents or anything. Like, you couldn't go through other rooms. I'm trying to think about that. Like, just can't face through walls. I don't know. I made this diagram for analyzing those photos. Are these doors? There's no way to get from behind. The only way you can go is through the front, it looks like. Dang. Bianca is staring at far difference. Yeah, we already knew that. A line extending from the table to where Bianca was killed? Uh it's a desk lamp. I do the power cord for it just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? You genius! If that cord is extending from the table, that means... Hey! What? What, what does it mean? It's right there too. What? Hmm. It's not clear to me yet, but... I guess you're right. I didn't really understand myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. Nope, it w I mean, yeah, it was a waste. Huh? Hmm? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. No, I... I didn't find all the Monokumas. <laughs> but I am excited. Alrighty, guys! It's finally time! That's right! It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Okay. Now then, I shall pack the central Meeting place. island of Jabberwock Island. There is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. That, oh. my friends, is Monokuma! Rock. Yep. Once you're you know. there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon.
Please don't teleport me there. No! Dang it. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna need to re uh, get your guys' input on how to make how long to make these videos. Uh, with the trial. Should I keep the 40 minute format? Just pause every 40 minutes. That's not there's the saving is really nice, so it's not too hard for me. Huh? Huh? Are you kidding? Me? Hey, what the heck is that mountain? When did that get there? It was always here, right? Never mind that. How did they make the mountain shape like Monokuma? Nice, like. I don't know, 3D modeling. No way. That story, that story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. Yeah, there is. Uh, you mean what Biaki said before, you right? You are right. Biak- Bi- Uh-oh. What's the voice right is? <laughs> Biakia, we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> Tush. I still can't believe he's dead. <laughs> Biakia, 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 Biakia. <laughs> What happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Um, now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got it! Ah, ah, I know. They probably ran away. No way! Aw, oh, heck nah. There's no way I'd let them escape you now. Look, I dragged this one back over here. Don't fuck with me! I'm telling you, let me go! Hey! Hey now, Come on if you keep now. acting violent, I might just eat you up. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what were you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat dude got killed. Just who the frick cares about that anyway? You. You. How can you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though you don't want to, just to survive. Wait. Mahiru, <laughs> that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. Um. And I guess we're waiting for Gundam. What happened? I am Sarah? right here. Now then, let us begin. Remember this well. A main character arrives when he intends to. <laughs> huh? Hey. It seems you've noticed it too. <laughs> oh, he found his earring. Fia ha 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 ha. If I did, then I'm right. Well now. Does that mean they're get able to get on their four boards? We're gonna get some surprise evidence. All right. Now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the <laughs> trial field. <laughs> Second. What's this? My mind, Monami. Wh just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. Hey. Hi, hi, hi. Well, hmm. Do you re do you actually want to join in? You do you mascot. want to taste how powerless powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Special bleeding service. Oh well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. <laughs> See ya later. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. So hurry over. Huh? He told us to come, but. How did we get here? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance. Was it? Secret entrance? In the Monokuma Rock. Okay, let's see here. Is there anything else I need to bring up? Uh, can we review the evidence before we go in? I'd assume we would already do that. What do you got to say about this? Roar. Oh my god. <laughs> what the? Something's shaking. Oh, uh this is dangerous! Everyone, please get down! What the, what the frick is this? <laughs> Something came out! Uh, yeah, very s smoothly animated right there. He just pops into existence. Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? No! What? <laughs> Such a surprising aura. Even Crimson Steel Elephant Mega Z is trembling with fear. Whoa. What the heck is that name? Ooh ah! That's so totally suspicious! Hey, 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 hey! Forgive me, seriously, just forgive me already! Uh, <laughs> hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. No way, no way, no way! There's no way! There's just no way we'll find the killer! Stupid! Complaining won't get us anywhere! If you're really a man, then man up for God's sakes! We come this far, we have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right, there's no way for us to run, except... Uh, away, but I mean, we need to do it. Mm. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you yep. guys. I didn't kill them. If this were a video game, I... No, not gonna let you do that. <laughs> Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the dangerous escalator. Look how dangerous that is. I won't think anymore. If I, I mean, you haven't been thinking this entire game. All I could do was stare upward intensely at the escalator carried me. Man, people are really scared of escalators. I saw that animation. Don't think I missed it because I'm looking at my timer.
And when each of us entered the stupid looking Monokuma rock, we were in great fear because, oh my gosh, is that scary. <laughs> what the frick? It's like the least threatening thing. Oh, well, back to the elevator. This is an elevator. Oh my gosh, is this. Is it, you're getting Hajime levels of smart here. I see, this entire rock is an elevator. Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, if, if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. You're stupid. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. Yeah, that's what it is. I, I, all I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone couldn't hear it. I'm surprised you know what that word is, you know. I mean, I, I of course know it. <laughs> so it's just surprising to me that you would. Little, little uh, Hajime. I mean, I wouldn't, like, vomit in the elevator, though. There we are, listening to an unpleasant roar as the elevator plunged deep. Ugh, stupid freaking poetry. I hate this guy. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending. Then the end of the elevator doors opened. And then we got out of the elevator. Welcome! And then the elevator doors closed. And then we are done. Uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> Okay, welcome! Ta-da! This is the class trial field. How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fate. It's actually pretty Why cool. You? Shh, what the heck is he thinking? Walking us in a looking place like this? Don't fuck with me! Are you freaking crazy? Don't mess with me. Poo-hoo! <laughs> Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> is that some type of uh, foreshadowing? Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your name names are written in. Oh, they got a giant um, I've, iPad Plus Pro. Looks like everyone knows, even if we tried to resist, it won't change a thing. Like we've been told 80 times before. Just in Monokuma order, we wanted the seeds to be aside from this point. I want to find out who killed the Akio. Yep. Yeah, we saw that. We did say that. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Uh huh. I mean, let's calm down. Biyaku was like the best person on this cast. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he had a strong sense of the responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader and tried his best to keep us together. A guy like him. Freaking stupid idiot gets freaking oh got murdered right. Red border. Are these our suspects? <laughs> is this is this our only suspects? The person who did it is one of us. I see Nagito, definitely suspect. Red herring. I don't know. I, why why is it these uh, one two three four five six people? Oh I see I see. Oh my gosh the red that means it's Biakia. Guys I figured it out. I, I, there's no way I can believe, but if it's really true... Oh my gosh, did someone actually kill them? There's no way! We need to find out about any means possible because that's our only option. There's no way for us to time unless we sacrifice the killer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, we know. And so, this is a life-threatening travel with hope and despair has begun! Would you like to save your current projects? Proje projects? Don't mind my 28 saves. Alright. Can we buy... Uh-oh. Were we supposed to buy stuff before? Oh, thank god, we can do it here, right? Oh, okay, what do we- Ooh, we got 19. So we got a tent of influence. It's not gonna explain them? A tent of influence, extraordinary focus, lost in thought, charisma, down shit- this, These look pretty dumb. So what's the most expensive one? Charisma? Uh, no, neural liberation? I don't know what any of these do, sorry. Uh, does it tell me? Oh, focus creates decreases at a slower rate during concentration and fever time. Is that is that the uh, fever time? Oh yeah, that's the thing that gives you abilities. Yeah, this is definitely good, right? Should I not trade in all my stuff? Is that a good thing to do? I think it is. Will we get to buy new skills, or should we just? Maybe I should wait for you guys to tell me if there's good stuff that I should be getting. Wow, this is really good too. It's this kind of skill. Do you really want to buy this? Yeah, this one looks good. You you basically get your health back when you're focusing, I think? Trigger happy? Slightly steadies your aim. That might be good. I think I think we just don't buy anything, because I think you guys know what's good. Um, so... Alright, let's, let's look through our truth bullets. I think that's actually important. I don't think anyone does this. Yep, they got stabbed in the chest and the back like 80,000 times it looks like. Is this knife, and it had the little glowy paint on it. There's a blood stain on the curtain. Uh huh. There's gaps in the floorboard, that's a big thing. This egg just explains the AC beeps. This is how they did stuff in the night. I don't even know where the heck they were gonna find this at all. 
So this is the red herring, because it had nothing to do with it. Ibuka was able to discern all the noise. It doesn't seem like it's gonna help us. I think this is what caused the blackout. This was disposed of because the table got blood on it, but I thought that they would have to like clean their clothes. Why would they need to do that? Maybe they they were killed and then dragged? I don't know. Guest live in the kitchen is powered by... I, I don't really understand this. This is, I think, proving that the Yaki wasn't poisoned. Yep, that's for in case people question the kitchen. Yeah, Fuyuhiko seemed like he wanted to join in. Fuyuhiko is the red herring, I think, though. I think Chiaki is a suspect. This is really interesting. I don't know how... I feel like this had to be, like, Monokuma. Who else would say the first kill will happen tonight? Maybe it was just to trap them. Yep, Pieko wasn't at the office. What are they doing instead? Up top, see results. The, the weapon was 5 millimeters in diameter, which is definitely a, a, a measurement that exists. And then the bathroom was had someone in it, or it was unoccupied or something. And it was unlocked after the body was discovered. All right. All rise. Now then, let's begin Ooh. with a simple explanation of the class trial. Oh, I don't have the voice in it. What the frick? <laughs> They're tied up. Oh, this is great. I don't have to voice anyone. I just realized. During the class trial, I can actually you learn will their voices. Your arguments for who the killer is yeah, I know. and vote for who done it. Um, maybe I can like practice here. If you vote correctly, I don't know. then only the blackened will receive punishment. Uh huh. We but know that. You pick, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, yep. and that person will earn the right to. S such a cruel rule. <laughs> So basically, Before we begin, you vote the wrong person, like everyone dies, but the black end, you vote the black end, they really die, and everyone stays us? here. Don't you... Why did you say that? What are you doing, Naito? This is why you're definitely the killer. Most definitely! There's no doubt uh -huh. that the... Such yep. a sad state of affairs, isn't it? Yep. By the way, yep. this class yep. trial yep. is yep. gonna yep. be 100% fair, so there's doubt no it. need to worry. Doubt it. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. You hate I mean, me I hate Monami much? too. So now, let's now begin. let's begin. You're telling let's us begin. To begin. But what are we supposed to do? No complaining. Let's just settle this. We just with discuss our it. Oh no, 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 Were no. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Biakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall? Whoa, you can't I say that. Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah. What That's you're really trying to Hiko. say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Honestly, it's kind of smart of him to not huh? uh, what attend. What does that mean? It means what? what? Anyway, it means they're stupid. Why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Why do you sound like this? Huh? The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. I don't think so. I, I noticed that somebody's like swinging down there, Armonomy. Let's start with that mystery. What the heck? I did not. <laughs> did your voice always sound like this? I thought it sounded like very weird. Reason why Biaki's body was discovered under the dining hall table. We can start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered them. Yeah, but we can, we have to slow slow it down. That's how these work. <laughs> I'll think about it if it's a waste of time. We have to do this no matter what. So, did, did you just make a weird noise back there? The, so the class trial has finally started. From this point on, I'll provide simple tutorials at every important moment. I'm sorry, but excuse me in my ear tainting rudeness. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, all of your classes will speak without any breaks. We know that. We have to reveal any lies or mistakes. We know that. Which means it's easier truth bullets to refute what they say. We know that. Do, do, do. Only the relevant ones will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the mass move the rectus cylinder and fire with less amount. And... <laughs> Alright, let's start. Make your argument. It is kind of the same. Knife, blood stain, gaps. So we can do this. Knife. So we're talking about why he's there? Gaps? In the floorboard. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'd be a place like that. Sorry, let me see the controls real quick because I gotta know how to speed up and such. Silencer is the right mouse button, and then concentrate using the space key. Gosh, that's terrible. Left control to fast forward. All right, maybe I can remember that. His body was underneath the, the table at the very back of the dining hall. Mm-hmm. 
Man, your was a lot deeper than I thought. Yeah. They probably moved the body there. That's what I thought. Huh? Why? Move the body there. Obviously, Gotta remember by that. The body. Man, they talk slow. They tried to delay its discovery. Maybe like I should do that. Bearing a bone. Uh huh. Why would they? Uh, they didn't really do that. There's only one actually. It clearly contradicts the information I know. Was his body not moved? Am I stupid? So what Why we got? was Byakuya's body? Oh, the blood stain. Like that. Oh, that's why. His body was underneath the table at the very back. Right. After the killer murder, they I think probably moved the They body. have very long pauses. No, that's wrong. Sorry if you can't hear me. But they have very long pauses. No, that's wrong. Break. So I'm gonna have to no, speed up during those pauses. I don't think the killer moved the body. Jeez, I sound like so weird. Huh? Why? No, like worse than not um Makoto, not Nagito. Try Go to on. remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Uh huh. There's a though there was a lot of blood yeah. everywhere. There was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. I thought maybe they moved it because so that's why they that's got the tablecloth clean for some reason. That but that's kind of stupid. I see. I get your yeah, we don't need to like oh. restate here, everything. A genius idea. We don't have to restate everything like last game. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. I respond better okay. to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move okay. the body, is that really why was it under necessary? the table? Byakuya was probably killed. That's where he was killed. Oh my god. <laughs> what the frick is this? It's so dumb. What? You think he was killed under the table? My god. So Byakuya oh my snuck god. under the Obviously. table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. I feel like that's so, so obvious. Then, <laughs> shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Yeah, that's because he was killed there. That does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Oh my gosh, Obviously, do we have to repeat it a billion so times? Surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. No. The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an mm. earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he dive under the table. The reason why I mean, he is can't probably it out. connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party. Don't you think? Okay, Makoto, calm down. The reason Biaka dove in the table is connected with what I was doing with everybody that it's probably uh, the tape. Right? Uh, oh, shit, I have to avoid the embarrassing clothes. Wait, where do we. Where do, don't we have a thing about the tape? Gaps in the floorboard. Shoot! Knife. Uh oh. What is it? Party dishes. Uh, um. Hold up. What? Display problem. It's connected to what Byaki was doing during the party, then it's probably... It's the tape, right? So I should I just say... the old building. No. Is it the knife? Is it... Is it the fact that there's stuff on it? Yeah, I don't know. I can prove it with this! Does that mean I was right? It probably has something to do with... I can the prove it with this! The table. Uh-huh. Knife? Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Yakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there. Oh, I didn't think that he at all. To get it. He moved under the table. That's the last thing I thought. Particularly I thought it was just because of the, the glow of tape. Dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? Facts. If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Absolute facts. Then... Instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. <gasps> you seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. Let's show it. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial. No, no, it's not. It's nothing like a real trial. Good luck and have fun. All right. Basically, there's going to be more. There's going to be a fake statement. Knife, bloodstained cat. Oh my gosh. Already? Night vision goggles. Is that. Would Byaku. So, what I'm is sure he trying Byakuya to prove again? Ducked under the table. Uh huh. You're sure During of that? During the blackout. Yep. And why is that? That sounds correct. If that's the case. Correct. During the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I've seen the killer take the knife. 
But it was super pitch black. Uh huh. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Uh, is this where the yeah, night vision yeah, goggles? I couldn't see in the dark either. I doubt he could have seen the killer. Is that it? Okay, I guess that is it. It's just like getting out of the table is the best possible. But all right, night vision sure goggles. Yeah, ducked under the table. Blood. Yeah, it has to During be the night vision the goggles. All right, let's that get out of here. Gosh, you move so much. But it was super. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Oh, there's no. Yakuya couldn't see in the dark either. No, wow. That's wrong. That is some crazy sound effects. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. It's like I punched no. him in the face. Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. I hate your voice. Why do you say that? He was using those night oh, vision goggles them? we found under the table. Oh, is he? he could have seen what was happening. <laughs> I thought those. Yeah. I thought so, the killer was using them. I didn't realize he had them before. Yakuya was the one who used those. Yeah. yeah. That seems to be the case. You didn't you have to repeat it like that. Whoa. What was that? No, it's <gasps> obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Other way around? Other way around. Because he didn't have the mark. Seriously? On. The killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. Uh-oh, I'm agreeing with my hero. I gotta rethink my life choices and I gotta uh, stop. Were you surprised by my hero's sudden argument? Just between you and me, I was also surprised. Just kidding. Uh, none of those kind of arguments are you want to go into one on one to be called a rebuttal showdown. In this video, the count of the other person's claim, drop their weak spots and argue against them. These count of the other person's remarks with the dot with the Waza keys. It's in the shape of their remarks and support to know whether to cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. What the frick is happening? You can date that you can skew the debate's mood to your advantage. What in the world? On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it'll skew it to their advantage. In the bottom right hand, you're going to see them because of sharpness. Can I just, like, get a practice? What is going on? The number of times you can cut remarks. You'll lose the counts of sharpness if you miss. Uh, when the moon skews your advance for a certain length of time, the party is going to change. This means conversation. What in the world is ha- Can I just, like, practice? It'll help me understand a lot better. It happens that I'll end up divulging some weak spots. However, you cannot normally count marks that contain weak spots. Instead, it'll skew them in towards the other party's advance. This is going to be very big. What the frick? Can I just- Just like a real bait, please repeat any weak spots with the left and left button. <laughs> of course, if you, don't, if you don't have the correct truth blade, you will not be able to cut an important to mark truth blade. Oh my gosh. There's <laughs> so much. I'll make sure the person in charge of country you- Truth blade, sorry, sorry. Truth blade is the same thing. Uh, skip key is the controls. Okay, I'm gonna have to like do some weird practice here. <laughs> Rebuttal showdown. All right, this is actually interesting though. So these are knives. We can do it like normal. Duralum case. So that's if how you- you just use common sense. Where's my- The killer obviously used those night vision oh, goggles. did I do it by accident? That's gotta be it. Damn it. Oh shoot. It's not pointed out. Okay, I can't listen to what you're saying. I'll send you a respawn. All right, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. If you just use common sense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. Did I do it? I can't back down. I don't think I understand how this works. Oh, I just spam. What the frick? Okay, maybe I need to cut to understand this. Okay, I kind of looked up some something, but I still don't really if understand. If you just use common sense, the killer. Obviously, use those night vision. That's gotta be it. Right. Where's your proof that the killer used them? What the frick happened? How do they? I don't understand. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, so those goggles were planned in advance. Uh, okay. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Okay, so is that where I used the sword? Damn it! She's gonna go back to the original topic. All right, so I think. Okay. If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those knife That's gotta be it. I think you have to cut every single argument for some Where's reason. Your proof that the killer used them. And then you use the because sword use on. Them, they could have killed Byakuya, use even the sword the on the ones in reality, that are highlighted. Those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Um, and I supposed to cut the weak points? How does this work? So I know that you have to do with them in the Byakuya, opposite direction, in the or in maybe reality, not. Plan in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Right? Allow me to cut through ah. those marks. So you click and then you cut. No, Byakuya was definitely this, the one was who so brought those night vision goggles. Definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. But why? Inside oh, wait. the Duralumen Sorry. case, Byakuya had with him during the party. He found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Is that what that was? Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumen case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. Wow, it's like Hajime up in here. Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. Alright. I see. We get it. When you put it like that, it... Yeah. Then, 
was that knife inside the case too? Uh, I guess. If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times. <sighs> you totally mean that in a perverted way. Yeah, that's true. The knife was brought in the dirt aluminum case along with the night vision goggles. No, that's not possible. The knife was hidden in another case, and that's just where the key was. The knife was hidden in the dining hall before the party even started. I should be able to prove it. Uh, and not the duct tape. It's gotta be the, this one, right? Just because the key that's in there? We're asking for proof the knife wasn't in the Daryl case. Wouldn't the evidence be anything other than the Daryl case? Crap! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna die to Crap. this. What is, is it? The, I don't freaking understand. I see! Is it duct tape? What's the duct tape? There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Yeah, but what does that prove anything? They probably had any sense. It to the underside of the table. What the frick? <laughs> that is the last thing I would have thought. Oh, that's so not the last thing I would have thought, but it's absolutely it. crazy connection. Though Byakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic. But why was Byakuya Stupid. acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew. Someone was planning to commit a murder. No, I don't think so. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? You yeah. think so too, right, Hajime? Yeah, I do think he was in possession of the all-seeing eye. That's right, I wonder what it is that proves that. Hmm, well, I guess we'll never know. Murder threat! This one. E. I can choose prove it. it with this. I can, I can prove it with this. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? I don't feel like it. <gasps> Be careful if the first kill happens to someone will definitely kill someone. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent to him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Uh-oh. Now, Hiyoku's thing. Gosh, I just have the same appearance as all the dumb people. Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friends. Those are still lies. It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. Dang so, it's not going to come up. Paranoid because of this threatening letter. I should just get rid of all my theories. He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. Yeah, we. Yeah. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place. Uh huh. He tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. I already figured this out. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. Oh my gosh. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter yeah, was legit. Yeah, next Mikan is going to say something that I have I said before. Told us he received a threatening letter. And I'm going to lose all confidence. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, uh -huh. he tried so. to do something about it without telling anyone? Yeah, so someone actually did send them a letter that's not going to come responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? I have well, really no idea. I don't know. The killer. Well, you don't know who that killer is. Freaking gosh dang it. Yes, it's one of you. Hajime, you freaking stupid idiot. Gosh. Stop saying Enough among us. Already. Show yourself, you coward! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. No duh. I still can't believe this. Some of this room killed me, there's nobody can believe um, that yet. Pardon me. Can Man, I see something? Hajime is really dumb. Please? Not as dumb as me, though, yeah. Oh, shut up. I regret that I must <laughs> return to up. this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. It if the Akuya says... was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? It says Hyoko did it on the back. I mean, uh, how did they manage to right. navigate in the dark? They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. Facts. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? 
they had two Even night vision if the knife goggles. Or some sort of mark. It would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. Oh, uh, here's where the glow stuff comes in. Oh, uh, so the killer placed the tape. He taped the knife to put the glow stuff on it. And that's why there was glow stuff on the knife so they could see it. Night Biaki used the night vision goggles. And then they somehow they got under that table. At, because of this mark, the killer was able to get the knife on the table into his hands. Glowing paint. I see. I see. What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. I mean, everyone else would have to see it too. The knife we found under the table. I guess they would be under a table, so you, they would, the they'd table have to. Were both marked with glowing paint. They'd have to right? duck down to see it. Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? Yeah. But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. Oh, wait till you hear that they known. caused the blackout. That's why they use the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. All right, this is where Pekko gets the killer accused, is whoever right? was in the office with the circuit breaker. There we go. Which means it was you, Pekko Pekoyama. <laughs> Pekko killed poor Byakuya. Oh my, was they really jump into conclusions. Two glasses wearers. I'm not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. Uh, well. How can you believe her so easily? But with Pekko's height, I Respect don't think to she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker. Don't you be able to make this happen? I don't care about a technicality like that. Pekko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. <gasps> Weren't you the one that was saying that Pekko wasn't there? Sus. <laughs> is that really what happened? Well, no. If he, he wouldn't have confessed to that. And this is a blue color. Is that what? Is that the agree one that I've heard about? Um, up until now, you've seen argued spots. The blue color weak spot is grease spots. Let's go. I heard that you could agree in Danganronpa 2. Uh, when you're shooting a grease spot, you need to flip your way of thinking instead of arguing. You're agreeing. I get that. Fire the, if the statement is correct. Oh my gosh, I have to end this episode. But if I don't... Yeah, I have to do this argument first. Also, how did my computer get freaking low battery? Stupid. Go away. Yep, 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 yep. Isn't it a little hot in here? From now on, you must infer whether it's best to agree, argue or agree. Oh no. What? Dang it. This is harder than I thought. Make your argument. Tear, tear. Kumara. Oh my gosh, I keep burping. I have to cut it out. Since Pekka was in the office. Right. Don't I get uh, heart some healing? Yeah. Look. Oh, there's the agree one. So you could cause the block at any time. We don't want to agree with that. Huh? Why is it impossible? Look, does it, does, it said it gives me hearts, right? Because I don't remember. I was not in the office. Uh huh. Not even before the blackout. Uh, not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? That's it, right? Who was the Sorry. one that said they weren't there? Uh, shoot. Oh, you weren't in the office. That's clearly a desperate excuse! Mm -hmm. Alright, can I, like, check my, uh, stuff? It's not weird to doubt it, but I feel like it spoke to someone doing it. Yeah, we did! Can you look at that? Thank you. Alright, what are these accounts? Nekubaro said someone was in the bathroom. That could be it. Did, did Pekko say they were in the bathroom? It wasn't Katsuichi the one that said it? He didn't see anyone there, including Pekko. But we don't have Kazuichi's thing. Chiaki just said that Fuyuhiko came. And then who was- what was the other one? I guess it's, uh, Nekumaro, cause, uh, someone was in the bathroom. I-, I maybe Pekko said they the went- They went in the ba- the ba- the Sorry, I can't talk over these people. I agree with that! I agree with that! <laughs> this is it consent? This is- this game is crazy. No, I think Pekko is telling the truth. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to make the thumbnail look like this little overlay now. Oh, that's gonna be really hard. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekko. Shut up, Mr. Soda. There's nothing like that at all. Nekumaro's account is actually Pekko's alibi. I guess Pekko said they were going to the bathroom, or they were in the bathroom. I don't know why though. It's true. Did they? Someone I don't... was occupying the bathroom for a long time I... shortly after the party I started. I shouldn't take like giant breaks, I guess. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, 
Then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekko. I... I guess that would be... true. What are you doing? locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. It's Whoa, <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was- Hey! Were you Whoa. guys taught any basic manners, you. or were you raised in a locker room? I'm sorry. What is this, like, two-year-olds? I guess they're, uh, they're all high schoolers, How right? How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the oh bathroom right after you, can we... so you can trust me. <laughs> Forget these two-year-olds talk I about. I said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. All right, Did enough talking at something? the end of the episode. Bye.